Hi, I just want to share a quick video on how to, you know, how we put like the ruler and like why we actually did that. Um, so like to make the scale bar. And so let me just share my screen. Okay. Um, yeah, so here are examples of our um, images. So this will be the same thing for under the microscope, like outside. So let's just say like, we you have this ruler, we shouldn't have it in the final picture. Because remember, like when you, when you read papers and presentations, you just see like a small white scale bar at the bottom. And then we, don't also, we also don't need that little um, flag. We'll have like our label up top. Um, I mean, we can choose where what we want the label to be. So for example, on the actual nodules, um, depending on like where there's like enough space, you can choose to say what well, we'll put our labels on the top um, right corner, if most of the nodules are kind of like on the left, or maybe we can decide for them to be um, at the bottom, like it just depends. We can decide, but as long as we are being consistent of where, where they are, they could be at the bottom here, they could be at the top, bottom here, or bottom left. So here, let's put, that, let's put these labels in the middle, because I know that we have the ruler and the flag on the other end. So say for example, we want to make a scale bar for this image, okay? So I'm going to zoom in on it. And then we now try to like pick one unit. And when we we're, when were measuring this, we had put it on the nine inch side, which is the centimeter side. And even though it's not very clear, at least I, I am very familiar with the, the centimeter so I can actually tell. So these numbers, just like tell we like we have like one centimeter unit. And so this is a 15 centimeter ruler. I don't know how many inches that is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Okay, but I know it's 15 centimeters. And so this is like, so these are the 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I know that between here and there, it's one. Here and there, it's one. So we want just like, use one unit and so to do that I want to draw that line once I draw it I'm going to um, crop out the ruler so I'm going to insert a shape and I'm going to choose that and then anywhere where it's kind of like very clear so I'm going to choose that part here because I know from number to number like there's like a tall line that's one centimeter Oh, and good, this thing tells me it's point 0.1. So I know that that's correct. And then what do I do? I just wanna change the color. I want it to be white. Since we have like a blackish background, make it a little thicker. Oh, it's too much. Oh, cause it's actually, never mind. Hmm. Is it cause it's like expanded? Anyway, we can always, um, change it, I don't think that was much. So we have that ruler here. So then that's fine. And so we can push that. And then now, cause we want it to be um, horizontal, we can change the, make it, the orientation. So I'm going to rotate it 90. Okay. Then I can put it at the bottom and then I'm good. So I can go back to I actually had to like zoom out, but that's how it looks. So that's one. And sometimes if you think like one would be too small, if we kind of like have it as the original size, we can actually make it like five or 10. So maybe let's do that. So I can actually just go back here. Okay, so that was one. I can expand it to go to five. So the second one is there, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm like, have to go close to the, the camera. But yeah, so it's like five centimeters. I can push it here and then I can arrange it, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, and then put it back. Um, oops. All right, awesome. So then we have our scale bar. And then that way, when we, I can actually just like format this image, crop it. So I can actually crop out the
the ruler. And since we have the image, I mean the label up there, I can also crop out the label. And then I have that. And this is the, the scale bytes here. You can also crop out much of the bottom. Um, yeah, and then we can say, and then it's up to us to decide like, okay, will these labels be on the left side or the right side? And that's how we do it. And now, because most of these are the same, so depending on like how far and close we want to a camera, most likely we will kind of like at about the same distance. So if you know that the camera settings are the same, just have to like copy and paste this, but then it's, it might be different. So you have to probably, we might have to do this like with each, um, each image, but that's basically it. And then when you are when you're like putting like a figure legend like in a paper or if people ask you what's the scale but I can say oh it's five centimeters and people will be like oh if it's five that means that you know this the whole like uh, length of this plant might be maybe 15 centimeters it gives people um, an idea so this is what we do the same thing if we had this one image I think maybe two images where we had the ruler on the microscope again we have to pick that smaller part I'll, I'll put it in here and then I'll let you do it. And that one, it works for all of them because it does the same magnification. So if we had a ruler here, you zoom in, you just draw a line um, with like one unit. And in that case, it would be millimeters because the big centimeter has 10 millimeters. You draw the line, make it straight and then do it. So that's how we make the scale bar. All right, 